Hey guys, what's up? I'm Eminus and today I'm gonna show you how to build a very, very, very simple Applied Energistic ME system. So for the very, very beginners that you can start and you know how to start. Yeah, I'm gonna make a video series out of this, which means I'm gonna show you from the simplest ME system to the most complex one. And yeah, then I, I would say let's jump right into it. So guys, here we can see the, the most simplest ME system you can build. It, it is just four blocks, or no, three blocks, one terminal and three cables. So how does it work, you might ask? Very simple, we need an energy source. We use the dense energy cell as an energy source. You could also use like a sterling generator or whatever you want to use to power the energy acceptor. The ener energy acceptor is just basically the block that puts energy to all other blocks in the system. So you need to power this one and I did this with the energy cell. So yeah. What is this block? This block is uh, where you can access the system. And this block is an ME chest. It is uh, for very beginners, so I would rather recommend you to build this, but I will show you this later. So, how does it work, you might ask? You build all the stuff, connect it to each other, that's very important. And then you can see in the ME chest we have an ME storage cell. And the ME storage cell works like a memory card so you can save items on the memory card and this is what you do so I take items right now out of here like some wool different colors go right click and I put this in and if I want to I can put it out again and the cool thing is you can stack up so I can see this is very cool then we can uh, sort by number of items so that the number of items first by mod Okay, this is vanilla Minecraft, so they will all be in the direction. Then item name, magenta is first, then just wool, and then yellow wool. And yeah, this is basically what you need to know. And I would say let's jump into the second build. So guys, this is the second build. This is what I would rather recommend you, because this one has not much space because of the ME storage cell. And yeah, what is this you might ask? This is a very very simple, it is basically the same but we don't use an ME chest here, we use an ME drive because you have 10 slots and you can put a lot of more things in there than in this one. And the one thing I need to show you, what I forgot is, like if you were mining a long long time and you have some gold ore and you're like yes I put the gold ore in here yippee you hey I'm happy then you take this out and you walk and accidentally throw your cell in lava then I can tell you it's not good because all the items are on the card and the card is gone so the items are gone as well so be careful, make sure you don't lose the cards. The best way is just to keep them inside because to put them out there's like no point. And yeah, this is the next. I said very nice. You can do the same and we have a little crafting window down here which is great as well but you had this here as well so no problem. Okay then, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. It is this. I built the same again but this time I used more drives for more storage and the thing is you can use more drives a lot a lot a lot of drives so you could go up here as well up here if you wanted to so you have a lot of drives because uh, drives don't don't use channels but this is something I'm gonna explain to you later so as you can see we don't have energy here because the energy cell runs out of energy but this will work as well so you have a lot of storage and yeah so the last thing I'm gonna show you in this in today's video is uh, which kind of cards we have 
of which kind of storage cells. So we go on this chest. We have uh, a creative one. So you cannot get this one. Maybe you're cheating, but yeah, I don't think so. Usually you won't have this one. You will have those. So what is the difference between them and them? It's very simple because we have the 1k ME storage cell. It's it's the the bad the the the, the, the one with the less storage so you cannot put as much in here as in the 46k does make sense so as you can see it says 0 of 1024 bytes so this is the bytes and you have 0 of 63 types and the types they are all the same on every card you don't have more types on the 64k than on the 1k so you might ask what is the types uh, types is pretty pretty simple uh, like if I have I show you this so in this case I would have five types because this is one type one type one type one type one type so the number of the items doesn't doesn't matter it's just different items are different types this here would also be five types because they are the same so you can put like 63 different types or different stacks of items in there so this is what types mean so as you can see it increases we have a 1k we have a 4k we have a 16k and we have a 46k 64 i'm sorry and then we have those they look a little bit weird and what they can do is basically the same what they can do but they can store fluids like uh, water, lava and all kinds you have in your world so yeah guys I would say this is it for today I hope I see you in the next episode I don't know what I'm gonna show you in the next episode probably how the the ME controllers works and the difference between the cables so if you like to see it look and check for playlist because if there's the episode already uploaded then it should be in the playlist and i would say have a nice day and i see you next time